A community is in mourning tonight after a deputy with the Russell County Sheriff's Office was shot and killed last night. Andrea Walker joins me live now from Russell Springs as we continue to learn more about the tragedy that unfolded last night. Andrea, what have you learned? Well, Marvin, you said it right there. The Russell County community is in mourning tonight. People are absolutely heartbroken after learning that one of their own, Deputy Josh Phipps, was shot and killed in the line of duty. The mood right now is somber, but last night it was pure chaos as people tried to figure out exactly what was going on. Earlier today, we spoke with people who had a front row seat as the dramatic scene played out. Here's what they had to say. It's been a long and restless night for people living in the Lakeway Mobile Home Park in Russell Springs. Rita Campbell is one of many people who hasn't slept a wink. And I probably won't for a day or two because I'm it's just the thoughts of I could have been in there asleep because my door don't lock and he, he could run in at any time. You know, anything could happen. The he she's referring to is the man who was shot and killed by law enforcement Monday night. Deputy Josh Phipps was also shot and later died. The tragedy has left the community gripped with fear, now turning to grief. It all started in the first lane over there. The gunshots did, and this guy came running behind these trailers, running right through here to that camper right back there. That's where it ended, at the camper. And the bags in the backyard is where they had to cop laying till the ambulance got here. It was so sad. Campbell wasn't there when the shots were fired inside her camper where the suspect was hiding out. She spent most of the day cleaning up the aftermath of the bloody scene. Oh, it's, uh, it's real thick. <laughs> and a whole lot of it. I wouldn't think a body would have that much blood in it. The community quickly rallied in support of the fallen officer, gathering outside Russell County Hospital where Deputy Phipps died as a hero. Kathy Keene hopes the tragedy leads to change. It didn't take them long to get here. They got here so fast it wasn't funny. And as soon as they got here, they told everyone to get inside and they grabbed their stuff and they were on the hunt and they didn't give up and I love that. I hope to God that everybody just changes and quit being the way they are. There's an old saying that tough times bring out the best in people, and we are seeing that here tonight in Russell County. I'm actually here at Russell Springs City Park where a prayer vigil is underway as we, as we speak. I'm going to go ahead and take a step aside so you can get a better look at the turnout right now. As you can see, people are really leaning on one another during this difficult time. Just a few moments ago, we spoke with Sheriff Derek Polston, who talked about how important this kind of support is during a time like this. The community has always been so, so supportive. You know, the churches that's brought uh, dinners, you know, for the office staff and everybody here and the deputies. And uh, I, I couldn't be more blessed to have a community that we live in that, uh, that thanks the world of Josh and he thought the world of them and uh, you know he died a hero and uh, you know he'll be sorely missed for sure you know. Lawmakers are also reacting to last night's tragedy. Kentucky State Senator Rick Girdler, who represents Russell County, released a statement offering condolences to all those impacted by Deputy Phipps' death, saying, quote, Deputy Phipps devoted himself to protecting and serving our community, and his loss is a stark and painful reminder of the risks faced by the brave men and women who wear the badge every day. Senator Mitch McConnell also acknowledging the tragedy today as he began his floor speech speech in Washington, D.C. His sacrifice is a sober reminder of the debt we owe our courageous law enforcement officials. They are the first to run toward fire and the first to put themselves in harm's way to keep us safe. Today, I know the entire Commonwealth is holding sheriffs, Deputy Phipps, in our thoughts and our prayers. 
Our Allie Root is here with me in Russell County right now. She is at the prayer vigil. She's gathering more information about Deputy Phipps. We want to get to know more about the man behind the badge. There are also still a lot of unanswered questions, including the name of the man shot and killed by law enforcement last night. We're going to have much more reaction, much more information at the top of the hour on Fox 56 News at 7. For now, reporting live in Russell County, Andrea Walker, Fox 56. Andrea, thank you very much.